Hey, everybody, we're hey Pastors everybody. Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. You know, the, the skeptics of the Bible always use two scriptures <laughs> to say we can't trust the Word of God. The first one was that God promised that Israel would become a nation again. Ah. And all the skeptics said, this Never proves happened. your Bible <laughs> isn't true. It's never happened. No government, no language, no army, no people. They're scattered around the world. It's never happened in the history of the world. And yet in 1948, sure it did. happened exactly. And by the way, sure that's where the church came up with replacement theology because people started saying, can we believe Bible prophecy? Of course. Well, what about Israel becoming a nation? Oh, oh no. Not talking about the Jewish people. We're the new Israel. We're not the new Israel. We're grafted in. But there's a second prophecy that people said, it'll never happen. It proves you can't trust the Bible. And yet it's happening right now yes. at this very moment because of you. Yep. And that's found in the book of Ephesians where God said, I will tear down the wall Amen. between Jew Amen. and Gentile yep. and I will bring those two yes. together for the one new man. Amen. And this will be one of the final signs of the coming of the Messiah. Amen. Today we have one of the leaders of that movement yes. with us, one of the most brilliant Bible yep. scholars you'll ever meet, Amen. Rabbi Daniel Amen. Lappin. Stay with us. This is fulfillment of yep. Bible prophecy and you get to yes, be a part of are. it. We'll be right back. Everybody, we're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. For years and years, I have said nobody will be outwardly anti-Semitic because that's not politically correct. The new anti-Semitism is anti-Israel with the BDS movement and everything. But since October 7th, the world has come out in so many horrific ways of being not anti-Israel alone, but anti-Semitic. Seeing this, how important is it for Christians to show solidarity and standing, not only for the nation of Israel, but standing against anti-Semitism? Well, I don't think there's, there's any way to overestimate the impact of this new brotherhood of destiny. That's what I call it. Yes. It's a brotherhood of destiny because it is historic. What is happening right now, Pastor Larry, is in every way as historic and as profound and as manifest as the day that David stood up to Goliath. Wow, wow. And in years to come, these days we're living through now will be written about and spoken about in ways that should make us all proud to be privileged to be part of this miracle. Amen. And the miracle is this unprecedented brotherhood that upends the history of the last 2,000 years. It's quite extraordinary. Amen. And Jews and Christians standing together help to make a very clear point here, which is that although the world is filled with many cultures, there is only one civilization. And it's not just me saying that. The evidence is that the only civilization in the world to which people are risking their lives of drowning in the Mediterranean 
is the Bible-based civilization. Not everybody recognizes right. that it's Bible-based. Right. Right. Oh, it's from the Greeks and it's from the Romans. Well, where do you think they got it? <laughs> That's right. That's right. And so every aspect of it, you know, you know what are the... Can I take another yes, minute yes, on this? Yes, please. Uh, what are the, the basics of civilization are very straightforward. One is the replacement of violence by communication, collaboration, and cooperation. Replacing bullets with ballots. Mm. Mm. Come on. Come on. Okay, this is not found in Saudi Arabia. Right. This is not found in Bangladesh. This is part of civilization. Call it Western civilization if you like, but its roots are in the Bible. Yes. You know, Rabbi's been one of our best friends for yeah. over 30 years. Yes. And here's the amazing thing. You know, when, when Rabbi started believing that Jews and Gentiles would yeah. come together to work yeah. together. And by the way, he got that from one of the greatest rabbis in the history of the world, That's Rabbi right. Schneerson. Exactly. And Rabbi Schneerson said there's going to come a time yeah. when the eyes of the Gentiles will be open yes. and we'll begin to understand things that we've never understood yep. before. A lot of the Jewish people... Yeah. said to rabbi this will never work yes. we can't work with christians That's right. i can remember over 20 years ago when rabbi was visiting us here and we've known him for 30 something yeah. years and he was visiting us here in dallas and pastor scott and i went to a synagogue with him yeah and this right. this working because the christian has been the enemy of the Jewish people yeah. for so long. Mm -hmm. And Rabbi took us with him to a synagogue yes. and was talking about this unity, this one new man. Yep. And I remember this one Jewish lady said, well, what if they're secretly trying to convert us? <laughs> and just with Rabbi's great humor and wisdom, he said, at least they're not trying to kill us. It's a walk, <laughs> it's a step in the right direction. Right. So when Rabbi first started this, yeah. The Jewish community said it'll never work. Yeah. When we first started doing this over 30 years yes. ago, the Christian community, tis for a big part, yes. labeled us as heretics. Yes, they did. And yet this is fulfillment of Bible Absolutely. prophecy. But even beyond Bible prophecy, it's the... It's one of the final launching pads to the coming of the Messiah, yeah. the latter rain, the signs and wonders and miracles, Amen. the end time transfer mm. of wealth. And, and that's why it's so important. And, you know, look, look, you know it, it, we all know this. Genesis 12, 3 yes. says, I will bless those who bless Amen. Israel. And yeah. for years, a lot of Christians have been praying for Israel. Yeah. But now God is saying, let's go beyond yeah. prayer. Prayer is absolutely essential. Yes, but is. let's go beyond yeah. prayer Amen. and let's be a blessing yes. to the nation of yes. Israel. And you know that for the last year, Israel has mm -hmm. been literally fighting for not only their lives, but for our lives. Amen. Because this yeah. anti-Israel anti-Semitism, yes. anti-Christianity, anti-God, preparing yep. for the anti-Christ. Israel yep. is fighting for all of us. That's and it. right yep. now, and our announcer is going to tell you, we have a window right yes, now in especially the north in Israel Amen. that Hezbollah is being pushed back where we can get mm. supplies and Amen. bomb shelters mm. and emergency aid yep. up to the north. And Amen. so this one new man, is happening because of people like Rabbi Lappin yeah. and people like you. you. This is Absolutely. a now moment. Amen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. With Israel still at war and much of the world turning against the Jewish people, Christians need to stand up and support our friends like never before. Today, we're asking you to help us be a blessing and share God's love in a powerful but practical way by sowing an offering toward our mobile bomb shelter project. It will go immediately toward providing vital bomb-proof shelters to protect Israel's most vulnerable citizens. 
Due to the continual barrage of rocket attacks, Israelis are under a constant threat of injury and death. Since the October 7th massacre by Hamas last year, Hezbollah and Iran have launched over 10,000 rockets into northern Israel. It's been a daily assault that has forced tens of thousands of Israeli citizens to flee their homes, businesses, and schools. You can help us place these mobile bomb shelters in strategic areas so that children and adults have a safe place to hide when the warning sirens go off. It's hard to imagine, but they have less than 20 seconds to get to safety. This is why your donation this month is so important. We can fulfill our commitment to provide at least five more bomb shelters. And in addition, we can also continue our support for thousands of displaced families. Just for calling to voice your support for Israel today, we want to send you this distinctive USA and Israel lapel pin. It's the same flag pin Pastor Larry wears and is an outward display of your love for the United States and Israel. With your offering of any size, we will add our new Isaiah 62.1 coffee mug that proclaims the scripture, For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. It's a quality cup that also displays the American and Israeli flags and will make a strong pro-Israel statement in support of the Jewish people. Whether you can donate $20, $200, $2,000, or even more, your gift will go immediately to help protect those being traumatized by the ongoing barrage of rockets being launched from Iran, Lebanon, and Gaza. So please, join with us today by calling 800-978-8546 and send the very best gift you can. You can also donate online through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv or by using the ministry's new QR code on the screen. You can also mail your offering to the ministry address or by texting the word Israel along with your donation amount to 28950. However, the fastest way to bless Israel is to contact us today at 800-978-8546. There's no doubt Israel needs our help right now more than ever. Pastors Larry and Tiz are calling on every Christian and Jew to show your support of Israel by donating to this mobile bomb shelter project. It will save Jewish lives and open the door for you to receive God's promise from Genesis 12:3. I will bless those who bless Israel. Thank you so much for your generous support and for standing with us as we stand with Israel. A second part of civilization is a recognition that God put us on this earth to guard it and to look after it. And that's the reason that the verse in the beginning of Genesis, God put us, Adam in the garden, to work it and to God. We're in the garden, everybody. Yes. It's all of us. Yes. And we're supposed to work it and make it happen. That is part of an understanding of civilization.